Maraming salamat sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagkagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. The borrowed materials like stories, songs, videos, pictures, brand names, trademarks, and others using this material for educational purposes are owned by their respective copyright holders. Credit goes to the original owners. The author does not represent nor claim any ownership over them. Aghamising morning! Rise and shine, Gate 7 students! Welcome back to Valenzuela Facebook Live Streaming. I am Michelle Rosio Lebador from Dalandana National High School. And today, I am very much excited and grateful that I will facilitate our virtual science class. Before we formally begin, please be reminded of the following. First, choose a comfortable learning space that is free from any form of distractions. This will help you to focus in our discussion and activities. Second, participate actively in today's interactive session by encoding or typing your answers in the comment section below. And lastly, use your smartphone, writing materials, and most importantly, the learning packet that contains your science module as you study our topic for today. I hope that you are all set now because we are about to start our fun and thrilling lesson. Well, maybe you're wondering why I am dressed like this. Do you have anything in mind what I look like and why? It's thinking time. I guess we're on the same page. You got it right. I wear this laboratory gown and this laboratory goggles because I am portraying a scientist. Mainly because today, we are about to learn another branch of science that deals about life. Do you know what it is? You're certainly correct. For the whole second quarter, we will discuss interesting topics and concepts about biology. So the question is, are you ready to learn? If yes, then join me in our first interactive session in biology. At the end of this lesson, the most essential learning competency that you should be able to master is identify the parts of the microscope and their functions. Anchored in this most essential learning competency are these two specific learning targets. Number one, recognize the parts of a microscope and describe their functions. And number two, classify the parts of a microscope according to their respective functions. So, for today, our lesson focuses on microscope and its parts and functions. Are you ready to dig deeper and learn more fun facts about our topic? If yes, then let's proceed. As we begin, allow me to walk you through the historical times. Let us have a quick science throwback Thursday. It's trivia time! Did you know that a microscope is one of the oldest scientific inventions that is still useful nowadays? You heard it right! The discovery of microscope was coined way back in the late 16th century. The credit was given to a Dutch father and son team in the names of Hans and Zacharias Janssen. They were actually recognized as the discoverers of the first so-called microscope. They discovered that if they put a lens at the top and bottom of a tube and look through it, then the objects on the other end became magnified. However, when microscope was first invented, it was just a novelty item. It was only until the mid-17th century that microscope was first used to make discoveries. Anton van Leeuwenhoek was a countryman of Hans and Zacharias Janssen. He was the first to obtain better results in using powerful single-lens magnifier that he made by himself. After his death, 
microscopic experiments slowed down because nobody knew how to make use of these lenses that he once created. In the 19th century, same design lenses were created and perfected. Thus, biologists were able to pursue the study of cells and different microorganisms. From then on, human beings can observe even small details which were previously unknown. Tiny particles and structures have been enlarged 50 to 100 times of their original sizes with the use of microscope. Isn't that interesting to know? Well, over the years, new microscopy techniques in studying cells and other organisms have been used widely. There are numerous researches that are carried out successfully because of microscopes. They did this to study the objects that are too small to be seen by our naked eyes. So, that is the history and birth of microscopy. Well, I know for sure that some of you have already experienced using a microscope in performing school experiments. Maybe way back in your elementary days, right? This time, I will give you your first task, which has something to do with this diagram. I want you to study and label the parts of a microscope as shown in this particular illustration. Well, you simply have to look and examine the parts that are numbered. Once you know what part is being pointed or shown, I want you to encode your answer in the comment section. So, are you ready? Let's, I let's answer each item now. Okay, so can you identify number one? You have 10 seconds to answer this. All right, so number one is body tube. Let's proceed to number two. Your 10 seconds begins now. Okay, so for number two, the correct answer is revolving nose piece. What about number three? The correct answer is scanner or scanning objective. Great job! Let's proceed to number four. Alright, so for number four, the correct answer is LPO or low power objective. Let's proceed to number five. Well, you're right. Number five is HPO or high power objective. Let's move on to number six. Alright, you guessed it correctly. Number six are stage clips. Okay, what about number seven? Okay, there are some of you who answered it correctly. The correct answer is diaphragm. Alright, number eight is very easy. Encode your answers. Okay, so the correct num the correct answer in number eight is light source or mirror. Okay, so you can consider both. Either be light source or mirror. So what about number nine? Okay, 
Okay, so for number nine, the correct answer is can either be termed or uh, called as eyepiece or ocular. Okay, so let's proceed to number 10, which is an easy item. Alright, so number 10 is actually the arm. Very good. What about number 11? Okay, so most of you got it correctly. Number 11 is stage. Okay, let's proceed now to number 12. Okay, so I am seeing here a mixture of answers. So actually, the correct answer for number 12 is the course adjustment knob. So what about number 13? So if number, if number 12 is actually course adjustment knob, then, number 13 is actually the fine adjustment knob. Okay? So, we're down to the last item. It's just like a bonus um, item. Okay? So, can you guess what number 14 is? Alright. So, actually, number 14 is the microscope's base. Okay, so all right, good job, uh, grade 7 students. I am very much glad that you were able to identify the basic parts of a compound microscope. But take note, it is also a must-know that each of the parts that you mentioned in the first task performs a certain function. Therefore, in the second task, you will read and analyze different readles that I'm going to present. Afterwards, you're going to try to predict or guess the correct answer for each item by simply reshuffling the letter clues. So once again, you will be given a few moments to enter your answers in the comment section below. Okay, so let's begin. Riddle number one. Let me read it for you. Hold the tight side and down, so you may avoid any breakage or damage. Guess who we are? Here's the clue. Time's up! The correct answers are arm and base. Let's have riddle number two. You owe us for holding your glass light. We keep it still while you are constantly moving. Guess who we are? Your time begins now. Okay, so the correct answer is stage clip or stage clips. Okay, let me read for you riddle number three. You better be thankful for the brightness that I reflect so that you may see these little objects that you want to look at. Guess who I am? Your time begins now. Time's up. The correct answer is mirror. Riddle number four. I am such an important piece because without me, this objective lenses are cut loose. I am being turned to change from one objective to another. Guess who I am? Your time begins now. Time's so, up. The correct answer is revolving nose piece. Riddle number five. You cannot see and observe anything in your specimen unless I am present. 
I usually shine bright during daytime. Guess who I am? Time's up! The correct answer is light or light source. Alright? Let me read for you riddle number six. Focus your eyes on me and you will literally see how wonderful these little objects are when they are moving freely. Guess who I am? Your time begins now. Time's up! The correct answer is eyepiece. Okay? We're down to riddle number seven. I am sometimes high or sometimes low. I am attached to the nose piece, which you use to move clockwise or counterclockwise. Guess who I am? Your time begins now. Time's up! The correct answer is objective or objectives. Okay? Riddle number eight. I am such a clingy because I am attached to the arm. It is me where the rays of light are bent so that what you see is actually enlarged. Guess who I am? Your time begins now. Time's up. The correct answer is body tube. Okay? Riddle number nine. I am a disc-shaped device located beneath the stage. I am used to control the amount of light that passes through your specimen. Guess who I am? Your time begins now. Time's up. The correct answer is diaphragm. We are now down to the last riddle. We are like small and big buttons that you can roll forward or roll backward in order to see clearly what you want to see. Guess who I am? Your time begins now. Okay, so the correct answer is adjustment knob or adjustment knobs. Okay, so great job, grade 7 students. Thank you for your responses. Actually, the parts of a microscope can be easily known if we classify them according to their respective functions. We can group them into three different categories, namely mechanical parts, magnifying parts, and illuminating parts. So, the mechanical parts of a microscope support and control the adjustments and movements. The magnifying parts of a microscope enlarge the specimen under study. And the illuminating parts of a microscope regulate the brightness of light. So, in our next activity, I will be requesting you to go to www.kahoot.it and enter our game pin. So for today, our game pin is 199-5355. Let me repeat, it's 199-5355. Before you can actually go to the dashboard, kindly encode the acronym of your school together with your nickname. So example, DNHS1. Okay? So make sure to enter your... Uh, the acronym of your school together with your nickname so that you will be recognized. Okay? So in this particular game, you will look at the game board where the question is actually posted only for a few seconds. Then afterwards, just press or click the colored tile that corresponds to your answer using your smartphones. So in your smartphones, you will actually see colored tiles such as red, um, yellow, 
green, and blue. Okay? So don't worry if you have connectivity problems. Don't be too anxious. For those of you who cannot join the Kahoot game because of some restrictions, you can still participate in our game. So what you have to do is just simply type your answers in the comment section below. Okay? So are you ready now? If yes, then let's begin. Let's go and look at the Kahoot dashboard and check those students who have already entered the game pin. Once again, it's 199-5355. So, these are the names of the Kahoot players. As you can see, we already have a good number of participants in the game board. I think we can already start the ball rolling. Before we begin, please be reminded that we only have one question all throughout the game. The choices are the ones to vary for each item. Let's start! Item number one, which one does not belong to the group? Red for arm, yellow for stage, blue for eyepiece, and green for stage clips. The correct answer is eyepiece because it is the only magnifying part. The rest are mechanical parts. Item number two, which one again does not belong to the group? Red for high power objective, yellow for base, blue for scanner, and green for low power objective. The correct answer is base because it is the only mechanical part. The rest are magnifying parts. So, let's move to item number 3. Once again, which one does not belong to the group? Is it red for revolving room space, yellow for condenser, blue for mirror, and green for diaphragm? So, the correct answer is revolving nose piece because it is the only mechanical part. The rest are illuminating parts. Okay, so let's move to number 4. Which one does not belong to the group? Red for draw tube, blue for stage clip, yellow for body tube, or green for low power objective. The correct answer is low power objective because it is the only magnifying part. The rest are mechanical parts. Okay? So now let's proceed to the last one. Which one does not belong to the group? Is it red for objective lenses, yellow for fine adjustment knob, blue for inclination joint, or green for coarse adjustment knob? So, the correct answer is red, objective lenses. It is the only magnifying part. The rest are mechanical parts. Such a nice job, participants. I hope that you have enjoyed our game. So, let me recognize the top scorers. On the third place is, from LNHS, Annalisa. Our second placer is, from CNHS, Jeremy. And... Our top scorer. Okay, on the first place is from the CNHS, Chico. So, congratulations to all the three winners. As we move towards the end of our lesson, I hope that you are able to grasp the main ideas of our topic. To sum up all the important takeaways and insights, I want you to complete the paragraph that I will present. I have already provided the first and last letters of each word as clues to help you get the main idea of each statement. After a few seconds, decide on your answers and key them in in the comment section. So may I request you to hit the heart button if you're ready. 
Let me read the paragraph for you. The parts of a blank can be classified according to their blank. The first category is called blank because it mainly enlarges the object being observed and studied. The second category is called blank because it serves as a technical support when doing adjustments or movements in the specimen. The last category is called blank because it gives of light needed to examine the tiny particles contained in the glass slide. So once again, you can read it silently and decide on your answers. Your time begins now. Time's up! Let's reveal the answers. So once more, let me read to you the paragraph with the correct answers. The parts of a microscope can be classified according to their functions. The first category is called magnifying because it mainly enlarges the object being observed or studied. The second category is called mechanical because it serves as a technical support when doing adjustments or movements in the specimen. The last category is called illuminating because it gives of light needed to examine the tiny particles contained in the glass light. So you may check your own answers. Number one is microscope. Number two is functions. Number three is magnifying. Number four is mechanical. And number five is illuminating. Nice work, grade 7 students. Seems like you really understood our topic about the parts and functions of a microscope. Before we conclude, let us try to relate our lesson about microscope to a Bible verse. As we read it together, I want you to reflect about its message and its connection to what you have learned from our discussion. Our scripture is from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, Chapter 12, verse 12. The body is a unit, though it is made up of many parts. And though all its parts are many, they form one body. You may read it silently and reflect on it. Okay? So, in your own opinion and belief, how can you relate this Bible verse with the lesson about parts and functions of a microscope? I will give you a few moments to enter your reflections in the comment section. So, let me read some of your reflections. Let me pick a reflection from a student from Kanumai West National High School. So, he said, The human body is comparable to a microscope. Just like what the Bible verse says, both the body and microscope cannot function at its best when one part is missing. Very nice reflection. Okay, let's choose another one. Mm-hmm. From Justice Eliezer de Los Santos National High School, she said, The Bible verse is related to the topic about microscope because it explains that each part does a certain function to make the whole device or instrument work and perform well. Good job! Right? Last one. Okay. Let's see. A reflection from a student from Citero Francisco Memorial National High School. The Bible verse from Corinthians compares the body to a microscope. That all the parts that comprise a microscope 
have definite functions that make it effective and accurate. Alright, so I am truly impressed with your insights and reflection, grade job grade 7 students. So, at this moment, the floor is now open for some clarifications and queries that you have in mind. Feel free to use the comment box to ask pertinent questions and I will try my very best to answer them accordingly. I will monitor your questions in the comment box using my smartphone. Okay, so you have a minute to key in your questions. Okay, time's up. So, let me pick a question from... Alright, Parada National High School. So, the student is asking, What if microscope was not invented at all? How do you think will it affect the world? Okay, interesting question. So, actually, microscope is one of the most important tools used in different branches of science such as chemistry and biology. So, um, without its discovery or invention, scientists will actually find it very challenging to study about microorganisms, cells and tissues, and even molecular structures. In effect, there will be a very, very, very slow progress in the fields of health and medicine. Moreover, there might be an increasing number of untreated or uncured diseases around the globe. Thus, for me, microscopy is such a useful discovery. Alright? So, I hope you answered. I hope I answered your question correctly. So, let's choose another question. Alright, from Mayasan National High School. Question is, what if there are, some, there are some parts in a microscope that are damaged or broken? Can it still function? Well, generally, microscope is fragile and prone to breaking. That is why, we need to take an extra care in using this particular instrument in our laboratories. But, you know, when accidents happen and some parts are damaged, microscopists do not recommend to use it at all, since the results of experiments and studies might be affected due to this. Okay? So, last question. Alright. From Karuhatan National High School. Question is, how accurate are the results of studies that involve the use of microscope? Interesting question. Well, when a microscope is well maintained and in best condition, it will surely provide desired results. However, in terms of magnification, which we will actually learn in our next session, the accuracy will depend on the quality of the lenses that you are using to examine your specimen. Okay? So, thank you for those who send their questions. Okay, so as a takeaway, you should remember that a microscope is a high-quality laboratory apparatus or instrument. It is actually ideally lasting for 25 to 30 years if treated properly with care. When you observe proper handling and care for your microscope and keep it in good working condition, it will actually give you the best magnification results of the specimen that you are studying. Alright, so to deepen your understanding about this particular lesson, kindly attend to your follow-up lesson with your respective science teachers. Prepare your module and answer the activities from pages 4 to 9. If you do not have any more questions, then let's call it a day. Thank you for your active participation in our virtual science class today. See you in our next session. Have a good day ahead.